Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about nested structures in C. We all know nested loops. So what is nested loop? The loop inside another loop. Okay. Or loop within another loop is known as nested loop. In the same scenario, nested structure in C is nothing but the structure within another structure. Okay. So here one structure is declared inside another structure is known as nested structure. So here one structure can be declared inside another structure in the same way structure members are declared inside a structure. So it is known as nested structure. So structure contains members. Those are data type and member name. So these are the members. So, these members are declared inside structure. Okay. So, let's see the syntax. So, here struct is a keyword which is used to indicate a structure. So, what is a structure? Structure is used to store different types of data. Different types of data elements in a continuous memory location. So, here struct is used to represent. It is a structure. Struct is a keyword. Name. So, it is, uh, name 1 is used to indicate the name of the structure. So, here the name of the structure is name 1. Okay. So, here members are used to represent variables. Okay. Suppose student ID is a member and which is integer data type. Student name is a member. Student age is a member. Okay. So, here members are nothing but variables next struct two so here we are not closing struct one so inside one structure we are storing we are declaring another structure so struct name two here the name of the structure is name two so inside the members of name two structure okay first we need to close this one and next this one okay so first name 2 will be closed and after that name 1 will be closed here where var 1 is used to represent a name 2 variable and var 2 is used to represent name 1 variable okay so in this way we can represent the we can declare the nested structures okay so let's see the example so here the example struct emp so emp is one structure so structure is used to store different data types of elements in a continuous memory location whereas array array is used to store similar data items in a continuous memory location okay so here struct contains employee number employee name salary and uh, salary Okay, so here employee number is integer data type and e name is the character data type, salary is float data type. So here structure is used to store different data types of elements. Okay, so inside struct emp we are uh, declaring one more structure that is struct allowance. Okay, so inside this float da daily allowances, hra house rent allowances, next one e ea. Okay, next we are declaring two variables. Those are A for elements, E for EMP. Okay, so what is the use of these variables? So by using these variables, we can access the elements of structures. We can access the members of structure. So for accessing, we have two operators. One is dot operator and the other one is arrow operator. We all know. Okay, so accessing members in nested structures, you need to use both the variables. Okay, so struct1 variable and also struct2 variables. So, so here E is a employee variable E dot A dot DA. So if you want to access any member of nested structure, you need to include these two variables. Okay, so E dot A dot DA e dot a dot e name e dot a dot hra so in this way you can access the members of 
nested structures okay so this is the example first one is hash include stdio.h so this is the header file next program execution starts from main function so before that we are declaring two structures okay so here struct address so here char city int pin char phone number so these are the three members next we are declaring one more employee struct char name and address okay struct address r add so this is the member okay so you can declare a member or variable add in this way or you can use this syntax that is struct structure name and variable name okay so here see this struct employee emp so here employee is the structure name emp is the variable name so this is same as it is like this okay so here we are declaring a so here we are using the syntax that is struct structure name and next variable name okay struct structure name variable name you can declare by using that method or this method okay next printf enter employee information so printf is used to display the information as it is okay next percentage s scanf percentage s is used to store character next percentage s is used to store character so here we are storing see this first percentage s is used to represent employee name okay e, e name so here name is the member for employee so for employee we cre uh, we created one variable that is emp okay emp dot name so in this memory location the emp dot name will be stored next emp dot add city so we are storing the address for employee structure next ampersand dot address dot pin so why we are using ampersand ampersand is used for only integer type variables okay so here we are storing pin so that's why we are including ampersand and this is the percentage d operator percentage d is used to represent integer okay the next one is percentage s employee emp dot add dot phone so here add is used to represent address operate uh, address structure variable okay so here we are using emp and add next phone number okay if you want to print the data printing the employee information so first one is name name is stored at emp dot name next one is city city is stored at emp dot add dot city next one pin code emp dot add dot pin next one is phone number emp dot add dot phone number so in a nested structure if you want to access the elements of one structure you need to use the both the variables so that is emp and add so here also so if you want to access any element in this uh, structures you need to use both the operators that those are e and a okay so this is the output first enter employee information so the user entered the information that is arun delhi pin code and phone number next we are printing the information okay so here we are printing the information okay so that printing information is name is arun and next city is delhi pin code is 
डबल वन ट्रिबल जीरो वन नेक्स्ट फोन नंबर इज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन जीरो ओके दिस इज द फोन नंबर सो इन दिस वे वी कैन यूज नेस्टेड स्ट्रक्चर्स इन सी प्रोग्राम ओके ओके आई होप इट इज क्लियर इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स रिगार्डिंग टू दिस वीडियो प्लीज कमेंट मी इन द कमेंट सेक्शन फॉर मोर वीडियोज प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल थैंक यू